we finally have something new to unbox. Uh, I've been holding out on this for a little while, but we're going to do the Shock Blue Next Gen uh, Xbox controller. Doesn't seem like there's much different except the D pad. Um, and then there's also a share button in the middle. So you can compare it to that. There's no, the D pad and then the share button does not exist there. Um, and I think that's it, just reading the back of it. Texture grip, which I don't think is anything new. Um, and then I'm going to unseal it right there, nice and easy. Although I still don't agree with the design of the way these controllers are, are put in this box because they're not all that secure, but that is it. So we're going to take this out and we're going to check the controller out. Looks really much better in person than it does on the actual uh, box, but here's the textured D-pad, here's the share button. The actual Xbox button is blue, like on the X part of it. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. <clears throat> so that, that's a cool addition. It's a little, like, kind of not dusty, but it's got stuff from the packaging. The, oh, okay, the triggers actually have texture on it. Let's see if I can, yeah, there you go. The triggers and the pad just right there, which is kind of weird, but. Because I don't think anyone really. Touches the, the RB and LB right there. So it's weird that the texture is there, but either way. Pretty cool. No change on the battery situation. <clears throat> but so you can see the middle's white, back, the whole front is blue. Same inputs down there as the last set of controllers, and uh, that's it. So, you know, a little bit of an improvement. But if, ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm excited to give this a shot and uh, can't wait to boost my KD on Call of Duty because of this. We'll see. We'll see if it's a little more comfortable and uh, don't actually expect any boosting of stats. So hope you guys got your hands on one of these if you wanted it. Thanks for watching.